In this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook some delicious, slow-smoked lamb shank ragu. So when it comes to the equipment we're gonna to need today, you really don't need much for this. All we're gonna be using is a deep foil tray. You're gonna want that nice and deep and a sharp knife. That's it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we've got at least one glove on our hands so that we're always practicing food safety. So I always like to keep one hand ungloved that's gonna be on the knife. The hand that's gonna to be touching the meat, of course, is gonna be nice and gloved. We're gonna just open these up, slice them open. In a lot of these recipes, you're gonna to wanna to try and take all this silver skin off, all this fat off, all of that stuff. With what we're gonna be doing, because we're gonna be basically braising these, we don't need to worry too much about it. We just wanna make sure that there's no hard fat on there, because it's a relatively quick cook as far as low and slow goes. So we're just gonna knock off that little bit of hard fat there. Just gonna repeat that for the rest of them. So now that we've uh, trimmed up these lamb shanks, we're gonna season them now, and this is just dead simple. We're just gonna take some olive oil and our favorite lamb rub. Today we're using Jackalope's The Rub, and I'm gonna give a light drizzle of olive oil on these lamb shanks, because that's basically gonna act as a binding agent, and it's gonna help that rub stick onto those lamb shanks. These are some monster lamb shanks too. Look at the size of them. My goodness. Don't need to worry about going too heavy because they will pick up some of the uh, extra rub that's gonna fall off the other shanks. Now with that done, we're off to the Jagged. Now we're doing this today on the stretch smoker from Jagged, but you can do it on whatever barbecue you got at home. All you need to be able to do is create an offset heat and add a little smoke to it. So you could do it on a Weber, you could do it on a PK360. You could even do it on your gas grill, but don't tell anybody. Now, we're gonna be doing this today on a wood-fired oven. I love this, it's, it gives you the benefit of a traditional smoker with the flexibility of, a, of, a, of an oven. So we're gonna be using iron bark as our main fuel. We've got some beautiful, thick, heavy iron bark here from Ministry of Smoke. We're gonna be using that today as our main fuel. And for our flavor wood, we've got some cherry chunks here also from Ministry of Smoke. So that's gonna create a nice, beautiful smoke ring on these lamb shanks. Now the beauty of lamb shanks is you pretty much just throw them in and forget about them. So let's open up this jacket and do exactly that. Now make sure you hang onto this foil pan. Now there's maybe a centimeter of water in here. All we're doing is just sliding this in. It's gonna catch the drippings from the lamb and it's gonna go into that sauce for the ragu. Now that's done, we're just gonna close this up and let this smoke for about an hour. Okay, so while the lamb shanks are in the smoker, we're gonna prep the ragu sauce. It's really super simple, got some beautiful healthy ingredients here. Starting off, we've got 200 grams of sliced mushrooms. We're gonna take four of these celery stalks. We're gonna take four heaped teaspoons of minced garlic, two cans of diced tomatoes, one tub of tomato paste. I've got some fresh rosemary and oregano from my garden two medium-sized red apples, and I'm gonna take three of these giant carrots. We're gonna dice all them up, we're gonna throw them into this tray over here, and we're gonna just let that sit while the smoker's doing its thing on the lamb. So now that all our ragu ingredients are in the pan, we're just gonna cover that in foil, put that to the side, and we'll come back to it when the shanks are ready to come out of the smoker. All right, so we've hit the one hour mark. The lamb shanks have been in here at about 300 degrees for, for an hour. So we're gonna open it up, take a look. We've got our ragu sauce ready. We're gonna take it from there. All right, so remember that this other pan has our ragu sauce in it. So all we're gonna do is grab these lamb shanks, chuck them in here, put the foil back on, slam it back in there for about another two hours. Nestle them right down in there, nice and comfy. As I said at the start of the video, these lamb shanks are quite big, so I'm gonna have to stand them on their end to fit them all in. And we also can't forget about our pan with the drippings. So that's all the drippings from the uh, lamb shanks as they've been cooking for the last hour or so. So we're gonna pour that into the mix as well. Now we're just gonna throw the foil top back on that and away it goes again for another two hours. 
Okay, so I've just pulled these out of the smoker and as I said earlier in the video, these lamb shanks are about twice the size of the ones I usually get. So it's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. We're closer to about four hours than two hours in our secondary phase of the cook. But there's only one test left to give it. Let's get this guy out of here. Oh, wow. Is that soft enough? Look at that. Nice and pink bit of smoke ring around the outside there. Look at that. That's the cherry wood. You see that real dark sort of purple there? That's your cherry wood. I'm gonna steal, oh, I'm gonna steal that. Mmm. Oh yeah. Ho ho ho. Look at that lamb shank just come apart. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna crush all this pulled lamb up. Drop it back in through our sauce. All right, so now this meat's broken up here, we're just gonna stir it through the sauce. Look at that. I wish you could smell this. This is genuinely amazing. Now there's a bunch of different ways to serve up ragu. I've seen it done on super fancy pasta, which Aldi doesn't have. So I've just got some basic seashell pasta in this uh, pot here. Or I've seen it also served on uh, like a better mashed potato. You could mash some, uh, some roasted parsnip in there, might be nice as well. Um, but I've just got, uh, like I said, just some basic pasta here. So I'm gonna give this a go. So there you have it folks, that is smoked lamb shank ragu in the jagged. You can do it on any, on, on any barbecue smoker you've got. There's only one thing left to do. Make sure I give you that lamb on there. Mm. That lamb is so tender, it's so juicy. It's got that little sort of that delicate hint of smoke because it had that just that first hour of smoke and then it was covered after that. It's got that beautiful little bit of smoke ring from that cherry wood that we put in there before. It's just absolutely delicious. Now, one thing that we do love about this meal here at Smoking Hot Confessions is all this sauce. This makes a whole lot of sauce. We'll actually freeze this in separate containers, not including the pasta because the pasta doesn't kind of freeze and reheat real well. But the sauce you can freeze, put in the freezer, and then pull it out midweek, boil a quick bit of pasta, and you've got some delicious, warm, hearty meals. Midweek, super easy, almost as good as if it's straight off the smoker. And as my grandmother used to say, that'll put meat on your bones. So that's all we have for today. Until next time, take care of each other and keep on curing. So good.